In this episode, we will learn how to create custom directive in AngularJS and that too in less than 5 minutes. My name is Dhanajay Kumar. Now let us get it started. This is the project I am going to use to create custom directive. On the HTML, I am uh, using my app uh, Angular application and it got, it got just one div with a controller uh, attached to that. Here is my uh, model uh, called my app which got only one controller. Now if I want to create a custom directive, I can use directive method of Angular. Directive method takes two parameters. First, name of the directive and second, a function. Keep in mind that a directive method always returns a JavaScript object. While giving name to the custom directive, you must be sure that name must be in a camel case. So let us say if I want to give name of my first directive as my first directive, then I can give that as my first directive. And as, as you see, this my first directive is in the camel case. Next parameter is function. And this will return a JavaScript object. So here, very uh, quickly, we created a custom directive called my first directive, uh, which actually doing nothing as of now, but but using directive method, you can create it as follows. Now let us set a template. So we can set template of the directive, and say we are saying be hello from custom directive great the second parameter you may want to set is the restrict and let us set it to E a custom directive can be used in four possible ways uh, in AngularJS those are either as element or attribute or comment or a class. If you want to use this directive as an element on the HTML, you should set value of restrict as E. So here I have set a template which is saying hello from custom directive and then restrict as E. Now this directive can be used on HTML in three different ways. I can use it as an element since we have set restrict value to element here like this. Now while creating directive we gave the name in camel case here those different character can be separated either using dash or using colon or using underscore or maybe com combination of these three. So if I want to use das, I can use my first directive D using das. Why here we are using das or colon or underscore because HTML is not a uh, case sensitive. So here I'll go and paste it and great. We created our first directive over here, which is uh, returning a template hello from custom directive and then it is restricting to use this custom directive as an element and here on my HTML I can use this like this. The, the other option could be I can use the same using the colon. Let us put a break line in between and the third option is we can use that using underscore and if you want you can use that using combination of uh, underscore dash and colon. So here we can go and say hey dash and then here if you want you can put colon 
and same here. So these are the possible ways you can use custom directive as an element on the HTML. Here uh, in the app you can see that uh, the custom directive we created is rendered. If you select one of the element and say that hey inspect the element, here in the DOM you can see the template has been replaced. Now let us go and very quickly create one more directive. I have given name to this directive as student detail and as you see that it is using the expression binding and the data from the student's controller. It is using name and is here. Now to use the data from a student's controller we need to use this directive student detail inside the inside any element which is attached to that particular controller. Well what I'm going to do here I'm going to get rid of uh, these my first directive things uh, directive and here I will say that I want to use a student detail directive so same way we can go here and say okay we want a student detail directive to be used and then can use either either dash or uh, underscore or colon now we are using a student detail directive inside this particular DV element which is a student's controller attached to that so that the data which is attached to a root uh, attached to a scope object of a student's controller can be accessed inside a student detail directive. So here you see that uh, we are getting uh, the data rendered in the application. If you go ahead and inspect this particular element, you can find a student detail and then here that uh, that using the binding the value has been replaced to DJ and 32 and this value is coming from the controller uh, which we created here that is DJ and 32. So just to summarize that a very basic custom directive can be created by setting at least two parameters that is template and restrict. You can give any name to your custom directive only you need to keep in mind that the name should be in camel case. On the HTML you can use your custom directive either using dash colon or mm, underscore. So I hope that uh, this five minute video is useful for you to get it started with custom directive. Keep in mind that custom directive is a very complex topic and uh, in further videos we will uh, try to cover um, other uh, concepts related to custom directive. Thank you for watching it.